Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back. Today we got our date announcement trailer for Cobra Kai Season 6, the final season of this fantastic show. With the way things ended at the end of the last season, I really am not exactly sure 100% what direction this is going to go. With Terry Silver being carted away, Cobra Kai being disbanded, but Kreese escaping jail and just being in the wind. And we know he's not going to take this all sitting down lightly, so I'm not exactly sure what to do. It's not like there's any students practicing at any of their rival schools, but the tournament, the world tournament, is still right around the corner all the same. So what happens? What do we do? What's Crease up to? What's Terry going to do? I don't know, man. I got a lot of questions and I'm excited to see what they do with this, man. You know, even though I'm really sad to see this come to a close, I, I never want a show to outstay its welcome or anything like that. Just tell the story it wants to tell and, and get out if it needs to, because you know, you run the risk of just kind of souring the experience the longer you go on. But this is one of those shows, man, where they found such creative ways to just keep this ball rolling. And every time they just have me right on that hook. I don't know. I just love this world, these characters and the values that are instilled within this show and the way it's just accentuated such this iconic classic from cinema history and brought it new life. And I hope that Sony doesn't squander it with this movie that's coming out. Not too long after the release of this, I would presume. I, I believe it got delayed, actually. I think it got moved into next year. So I'm not exactly sure how this coincides because originally it was it's done. That film is done without any of these people involved, save for obviously uh, Ralph Macchio is returning as Daniel LaRusso. On the creative side, though, nobody's involved at all, though. I did see not too long ago that the people show running this and writing this series did get a pass at the script and got to give notes. So hopefully we're in good hands. The only concern I really have is that just anything that discounts, discredits, or retcons, or ignores anything that happened here would, would send me into a riot. But all that aside, let's check out this first look at Season 6. Here we go. Love the smell of karate in the afternoon. Let's go. Get your asses ready. We're not giving up without a fight. Three part event. 15 episodes. Part one, July 18th. November 28th. Cobra Kai's. Huh. Back. Dude, let's go. Okay, 15 episodes. 15. Good lord. We've only ever had 10, right? Uh, yeah. So, wow. We're splitting it into five, three parts. So, I presume we're going to get five episodes in July, five episodes in November. Five episodes sometime in 2025. What July to November? Huh. Hold on a second, because I think the I think the movie got moved to May. Yeah, May 30th. So what's that time frame? July to November. Yeah, that could that could work. That would have. I mean, if you if it's a consistent spacing between parts, that would have it coming up right just in time for the movie to come trailing right after. But yeah, man, I'm fucking hyped up for this, dude. Again, I'm not exactly sure what the bill, other than training for the tournament, like what we got cooking here. There's a couple of scenes, just a gang hang, having fun, karate and being having, you know, the training, the sparring with Chosen, Johnny and Daniel. We got this scene of Kenny and Anthony going at it yet again. Looks like we got our Miyagi fan crew getting into a scrap at what appears to be a frat party. Okay. Sensei Kim, Kreese. I'm excited to see how they expand upon that and how he leverages all of that bits. Also, with everybody being on one side, all of our principal players, other than Kitty, kind of, and Kyler, I guess. And speaking of Kyler, back in that frat party scene, he's hanging out with our Miyagi Fang crew, so I'm not exactly sure what that entails. You know, is everything that transpired in these last couple of seasons just kind of water in the bridge at this point? Because, again, you know, you know, like it just makes me wonder, like, if, who, who are we opposing? Other than Kreese, Kim, and Terry Silver, who, as far as, like, for the kids to compete against, do we have, really, outside of Kenny? Which we still see that rivalry, that tension, that 
confrontation brewing between Anthony and him in the scene in the trailer. We saw them going at it. So that's the only one that comes to mind initially. I think in, I guess, penis breath, but like <laughs> if he has come around and he's just hanging out with them at this point, it just, again, begs the question of who's our antagonistic force, at least for the kids to overcome. It just makes me wonder like how things are going to conclude, how the tournament's going to function. You know, Robbie's yet to get a win, you know? So like, I don't know. It'd be weird to close it out without giving him anything, but like, I mean, for me as well, like I, I feel like the win, you got to give the win to, 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 to Miguel. I mean, he's the, he's the main character really outside of Johnny. Johnny's the main character, but Miguel, as far as the kids go, the actually person that will be competing in the tournament makes the most sense to me, at least that we, we would leave it off unless they, they, they do like categories. Cause like, what's the, the satisfactory arc going to be for all of our individuals like Sam, Tori, fucking Hawk. I don't know. Like if they have like the tournament has like categories like some way to, that everybody can kind of get their their justice in the end but i'm really curious though how this is going to be structured how this is going to go because pretty much everybody's on the same side at the moment so i know hillary swank has had said publicly that she hasn't been contacted about any involvement in this upcoming season or anything like that. And we know how things could go like that. That could mean absolutely nothing, but I'm still holding out hope that we will get a Julie Pierce appearance in this final season, because I really think that, like with everything that they've done so far, that'd be a nice way to round things out, especially for Daniel, giving him a piece of Miyagi that he never really got to experience himself. But yeah, man, I'm excited. Uh, it's not that far away, man. We just got a handful of months and then we got our first part. We got the second half in uh, winter and the final third part sometime, I would presume, in early 2025, just before the movie comes out. So yeah, man. Guys, what are your thoughts? What are your predictions? What are you hoping for? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're carrying the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already because we will be reacting to this once it comes out here on the channel once again. But with that all said, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share Ryan, Karen, your course, Scott Melito, Robert Angliano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justice Smith, Amy Becca, Brandon DeBoy. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.